This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rest? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! <laughs> oh, you lot! I knew it! Sneaking around my inhabitable. Well, keep your voice box whisperless. You'll scare them off. I've been fishing here for hundreds of years. Eee, that's why my bums are sore. Oh, 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 hey, hang on, hang on. I've got a big one. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. hey, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. I've been wondering where that was. <laughs> my foot's been dangerfully undamp. Uh, I suppose you've come to see the unfortunates. Ooh, a rancid bunch today from Manchester. So, up they come, up to the tower. Hey, I hope they're scared of might. <laughs> hey, one of them might be sick. That would improve the smell of the place. So, ah, who's in my fresh batch of cagelings this week? <laughs> that one with his head on backwards is Jack. Renee, she's a champion bodybuilder. There's Timothy, he was born a mango. Isabel is allergic to chairs. Oase, he lives in a house under the sea. Sam comes to school on a roller coaster. Now, I suppose you're wondering ah, why I'm here. <laughs> well, that's because it smells funny over there. <laughs> no, those unfortunates don't know what's in store for them. I only came to the tower for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her talking in your noise hole. She's promised to let me go, but only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates starts here at the top and works their way downwards. If they makes it out the bottom, they're home in time for tea and a slice of maggoty cake. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. Treachery! The saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful, stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> floor six, Black Widow. Top of the tower and top of my list. Oh, Black Widow. That spider is more scary than my old pantaloonies. To show you how it's done, here's Wily Sneak, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. The unfortunates are surrounded by white spider's eggs. They must use the vacuum vacuumigators to suck up all the eggs, but they have to be careful because amongst the eggs are black widow spiders. You don't want to be sucking none of them up. If they do, more spider's eggs will be released. They have 90 seconds to suck up all the eggs. If there's even one left, the unfortunates will fail. Remember, not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me, it's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Jack, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only person who can hear my voice. 
It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. When no one is looking, try to suck up a spider. Remember, you must be sly. Don't let anyone spot what you are doing. I will continue to guide you through your whispered lip. Jack is the first saboteur. This is the part I love's best. I know who it is, you know who it is, but they don't know. <laughs> can Jack make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, prepare for Black Widow. To pass, you must suck up all of the white eggs. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Good start, Jack, but don't draw attention to yourself. You have plenty of time, no need to rush. Nobody's watching. They're too busy concentrating on their own eggs. This could make things easier for you. Choose your moment wisely. Remember, if you suck up a spider, things will get very difficult for your team. 60 seconds. Okay, Jack. They're clearing the floor. Maybe you should make your move. They've all got their backs turned. Go! <laughs> Sneaky work, Jack. That should keep them busy for a while. Well done. Look, Oasis is working away from the group. Maybe you could frame him. 30 seconds. You're doing well, but you don't want them to suspect you. Let them see you helping them, but not too much. You are the saboteur, after all. Time is running out, and they've nearly cleared the floor. Suck up another egg, or it's all over for you. Hurry! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five... Let's hope that's enough, and they didn't spot three, you. Two, one... Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Jack. I think the saboteur was awake because when everyone was turned, I looked and I saw him going over to where all the spiders were. Rene. I think the saboteur was Jack because I saw a spider in his tube. Tim. I think the saboteur was a waste because I saw him suck up a spider and there's a spider in his tube. Isabel. I think that it was a waste because I turned round and there was lots of spiders in his tube. A waste. I think it was Jack because I saw a few spiders in his tube. Sam. I think it was Jack because I saw him sucking up some spiders and there's two spiders in his tube. The vote is a draw. You voted for Jack and Oase. What to do? Get out the draw straws! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Jack, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. Oh! The saboteur was, in fact... Jack. Jack, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Trapped! <laughs> Jack, why do you think the others voted for you? They didn't want to get out on the first go, and they kept watch of everyone. Poor, unfortunate Jack. You're trapped! Yeah! Every floor we trap one more. Jack's trapped and there's no getting out, but we'll be joining him. Floor five, feed me lies. Feed me lies, that's my favourite game. No, I was lying. No, I wasn't. Lying again, or was I? This game is all about truths and lies. On this floor is a magical garden. In the centre are two plants. Phyllis, who loves the truth, 
and Madge, who loves lies. Unfortunates must choose a seed and put it under the magnifying glass. Phyllis will read out the statement written on it. Is it true or is it a lie? The unfortunates must decide which plant to feed. The unfortunates must feed three seeds to the correct plant to pass. Get it wrong three times and they fail. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted. But who is it? Isabel, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fails this challenge. You can do this by convincing them to feed the seeds to the wrong plant head. I will tell you whether what is written on each seed is true or a lie. If she remains undetected, Isabel will be safe. But if not, she'll be trapped. Let the challenge begin now. Hello there, my dears. Do you see all the seeds over there? Pass one under my magnifying glass and I'll tell you what it says. Ah, very good. Hmm. Some insects have seven legs. It's a lie. Convince them it's true, isn't it? It's a lie. I think it's a lie. It's a lie. Lies. Lies. This is false, false. Okay, lie. Lie. Go on, lie. go on. Don't worry, Isabel. You've still got time to sabotage this. Well done. It was a lie. Well done, Kitty Winkies. Uh, can we have another one, please? You can get them on this one. Stay calm. Elephants can jump up to one metre high. It's a lie. So convince them it's true. It could be true. No, but I think it's definitely a lie because... If it, an elephant wouldn't have enough spring in its legs to boost it that high. Really it, must be it might be true, though. It might be. Right, so we have vote. Who thinks lie? I oh dear, job. Isabel. You've just made yourself prime suspect by not voting with the others. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, well done, Kitty Winkies. You've got two right. You only need one more. You'll have to work hard to pull this back. But it's not over yet. You can't burp in space. Oh, how terribly vulgar. It's true. Make them think it's a lie. I think that's false. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know anything about space. I Make up a reason why it's, it's not so true. No, because people... Uh, it's gravity. No, gravity. Gravity. Don't you need gravity It's to got burn. to be a lie, though. If it, Isabel, it's surely you can burp anywhere. You can, you can, burp, you can burp anywhere. Ready? You no, no, is he gone? Try true. That was true. your true. only chance. You're doomed. Oh, delicious. Oh, I love the truth. You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. Oh! Before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur is? Tim. I think it was Sam, because we kept quiet when we chose, like, one. Isabel. I think it was Samantha because she wasn't really getting very involved with the questions and she was just going along with what we said. Oh, Ace. I think the Sarathur was Isabel because I was a bit suspicious because she was saying like a different, like, like answers to us, like... Sam. I think the saboteur was Isabel because some of the questions I think she would have known because she is actually quite clever. Rene. I thought that the saboteur was Isabel as well because at times she wasn't really thinking positive. You voted for Isabel. The saboteur was, in fact, Isabel. Isabel, you failed to sabotage the challenge and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. Trapped! <laughs> Isabel, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I kept on disagreeing with the answers. Poor, unfortunate Isabel. You're trapped! Oh, Isabel didn't do too well there, did she? I hope she likes her new home. Floor four, snake attack. Make sure the snake is nice and hungry. Right you are, Mom. Snake attack. 
A strange wall faces the unfortunate. <laughs> one of them must make it safely from one side to the other, choosing which holes to put their hands in. They must choose wisely, because the wall is home to a hungry, child-eating python. She'll be waiting in one of the holes for a little snack. It's simple. If they get bitten three times, they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Oase, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by steering your team towards the snake. I will tell you where the snake is. You must use your powers of persuasion to fail this task. But be careful. You don't want to be detected. Underhand shenanigans! Oase is the next saboteur. He's not to be trusted. I know that and you know that. But the rest of them don't. Unfortunates. This challenge is snake attack. You must avoid the child-eating python. Let the challenge begin now. Which one should we choose? Well, oh, the, the snake is in the top hole. Well, well if I the think... snake's going to be in a box, well, we should have a vote. Wouldn't it be okay. the biggest one? It's going to be a vote. I think, I think the top. I think the top one. <laughs> it's <laughs> feeding it's time. Ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> a great start, Oase. The snake is now in the middle hole. Oh. Because it was top last time, maybe it won't okay. top again. Who thinks middle? I, don't know. I think it's top. I think we've got to stop. I'm top. Top. Don't worry, Oase. Try to get them on the next one. Well the snake is in the middle hole again. Bottom. I reckon. Mm. Okay. But I'm not Bottom. sure. Bottom. Stand firm, Oase. Don't be a pushover. If you don't get them on the next one, you are snake food. It's in the bottom hole. If it's going to be free, I think the next one's going to be free as well. I reckon, I think the the I reckon No, it's Oase, bottom, you want them to choose the bottom. bottom. You've told so them I the snake is there. The bottom, so we might have to try the top. You're going to have to try hard to pull this yeah, back up. The snake was snake snake's always been in the top. I think I think it's the um, Time's running out, Oase. You must convince them. Try top again. I think the reason why, Oase. I think it's because I think there's a specific like a pattern for some reason. I no. think it's bottom. I think, I think it's just bottom. He's bottom. He's top. 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 You're done for. You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur is? Oh, Ace, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think the saboteur was Sam. Because she was always going like a different pattern to what I was thinking. Sam. I think the saboteur was Renee because she wasn't really putting in any discussion in our decisions. She was just like murmuring yes, no to anything that we said. Renee. Um, I think the saboteur was Tim because I didn't really hear her saying much. Tim. I think the saboteur was a waste because he always had different answers to everyone. The vote is a draw. You have voted for Renee, Tim. Oase and Sam. As you passed, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. And I can now reveal the saboteur was... Oase. Oase, you have failed miserably and will not be leaving the room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. The saboteur's been trapped! <laughs> Oase, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel really scared because there's a, there's a snake right behind me and I think I might get bitten, so I want to get out of here. Poor, unfortunate Oase. You're trapped! Oase has gone. Now there are just three unfortunates left. Every floor we trap one more. Floor three, wicked wardrobes. Are you afraid of the dark? Well, you wouldn't be very good at this next challenge, would you? 
To pass, they must have all eight lights turned on at the end of 90 seconds. Once the lights are on, they must hide in their wardrobes and wait. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Except one of them will be working against the others. When a light is turned off, it will trigger the music, a signal to the others that the saboteur has struck. Can they catch the saboteur in the act? And will they have all the lights on at the end of 90 seconds? You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Tim, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. Help your teammates turn on the lights. When the music stops, get into a wardrobe, but do not stay there. Use the silence to turn off one or more lights. Once you have turned a light off, you will have three seconds until the gramophone starts playing, so you'll have to be quick. If he remains undetected, Tim will be safe and just a flaw from freedom. But can he do it? Unfortunates, this challenge is wicked wardrobes. To pass, you must have all of the lights switched on at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now. Tim, first help the team turn off the lights. Into your wardrobe. I will tell you when the coast is clear. It's safe. Remember, you only have three seconds to get back once you've turned a light off. That was good, Tim, but think about how you could frame the others. The coast is clear. 60 seconds. Good idea. Turn off a light further away. <laughs> It's safe. Think. That light's outside your wardrobe. That's good. Frame Sam. They're turning them off too quickly, Tim. 30 seconds. Rethink your tactics. It's clear. No, Tim. You're playing it way too safe. The more lights you turn off, the longer they take to turn them on. Time is running out, Tim. A good saboteur takes risks. It's clear. Ten seconds. You have time for another one. Your freedom depends on it. You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. Being a saboteur is not as easy as it looks, is it? But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur is? Rene. Um, I thought the saboteur was Tim, because when I read the wardrobe, I sort of um, heard the footsteps that sounded like his. Tim, who do you think? I thought it was Sam, because the lights were always on really near her door, so... Sam. I thought the saboteur was Tim, because all the lights were kind of like near me and Rene. None of them were near his, and they were in reachable point from his door. You voted for Tim. The saboteur was, in fact, Tim. Tim, you failed miserably to sabotage the challenge, and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. Crumblebots! <laughs> Tim, why do you think you failed as the saboteur? I think I failed because all the lights were near Sam and Renee and I bet they thought I was trying to trick one of them. Poor, unfortunate Tim. You're trapped! Ah, another one down. Poor, unfortunate Tim. It didn't work out for him. Didn't work out for any of the saboteurs today. Floor two, one way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom. Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. 
They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. Oh, wait. I'm so excited. I could bungee a badger. They quite like it. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin. Now, Rene, what were the names of the two plants in Feed Me Lies? March and... Too slow. Marge and Phyllis. Sam, what colour were the spider's eggs in Black Widow? Um, white. Correct. Rene, who was the saboteur in Snake Attack? Always. Correct. Sam, in Feed Me Lies, how many statements were read out in total? Three. Correct. Rene, which two unfortunates had to draw straws at the end of Black Widow? Jack and Oasis. Correct. Sam, in Wicked Wardrobes, how many floor lights were in the room? Nine. Incorrect. Eight. Rene, in Snake Attack, what number was on the wall? Four. Correct. Sam, how many windows are there on floor six? Two. Incorrect. One. Rene, how many votes as saboteur did Rene get in Snake Attack? One. Correct. Sam, in Black Widow, how many dials were on the giant vacuum? Rene and Sam, your time is up. Rene answered four questions correctly. Sam answered two questions correctly. Rene, you are the winner. Sam, how do you feel about being trapped? Um, I feel okay, but I'm a bit upset because I got trapped on the last floor, but I suppose I did really well to get here. Poor, unfortunate Sam. You're trapped! Rene? You have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Ah! Clever little Rene is going home. The others are trapped all alone. <laughs> and that brings me a step closer to getting out of here too. Now, if you'll be scootling off, I've got to get back to me fishing in. I've got to catch myself some big, wet and slippery. <laughs> it's me other sock. Too, what a stink. Anyway, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around here again, gawping at more unfortunates. Now, hey, scram before you scares off the fishies. <laughs> hey, and you wouldn't want to get trapped. <laughs> Thank you.